How does Kegel exercise influence women's sexual lives? What are the best practices for improving sexual communication in couples? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Kegel exercises can strengthen pelvic floor muscles in women, improving sexual health by enhancing sensation during sex and helping prevent issues like urinary incontinence. Improving sexual communication in a relationship is crucial. Best practices include honesty, respect, empathy, and a willingness to openly discuss desires, needs, and boundaries. Effective communication can strengthen intimacy and sexual satisfaction in a partnership. Sexual therapy is a branch of psychology that focuses on helping individuals overcome sexual problems and improve their sex lives. Sexual therapists can work with individuals or couples to address concerns such as erectile dysfunction, anorgasmia, and lack of desire. Sexuality as an integral part of well-being. Sexuality is an integral part of physical, emotional, and social well-being. A healthy and satisfying sexuality can contribute to better overall quality of life. Sexuality in literature and art. Sexuality has been a recurring theme in literature, art, and music throughout history, reflecting the attitudes and values of different times and cultures. Sexually transmitted diseases can have a significant impact on the sexual, reproductive, and emotional health of affected individuals. The stigma and discrimination associated with these infections can hinder the seeking of medical attention and necessary support. Shockwave therapy for erectile dysfunction. Shockwave therapy is a non-invasive treatment that uses acoustic waves to improve blood flow to the penis, which may help improve erectile function in some men. Shoe fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal from observing, touching, or even smelling certain types of footwear, such as high heels or boots. This fetish may be related to the shape, material, or smell of the shoes. Skin as a sexual organ. The skin is the body's largest organ and is filled with nerve endings. Physical contact, such as hugs and massages, can be highly erotic and stimulating. Social stigma. Despite its prevalence, pornography remains a stigmatized topic in many societies, which can hinder open and honest discussion about its impacts and practices. In South Asian nations like India and Nepal, anonymous helplines and counseling services have been established for young people seeking information on sexual and reproductive health confidentially. Stress and erectile dysfunction. Chronic stress can contribute to erectile dysfunction by negatively affecting hormone levels, blood circulation, and overall mental health. Finding ways to manage stress, such as exercise, meditation, and therapy, can help improve erectile function. Submission and domination games, known as BDSM, can be a consensual and safe way to explore intense fantasies and emotions in intimacy. Communication and respect are crucial in these practices. Taboo and acceptance. Some cultures may consider certain fetishes taboo, while in others they are more accepted or even celebrated. This reflects cultural differences in the perception of sexuality and individual expression. Technique. Differences. There is no correct technique for female masturbation, as each woman is unique in what they find pleasurable. Some women prefer clitoral stimulation, while others enjoy vaginal penetration or a combination of both. The concept of positive sexuality. Positive sexuality refers to a respectful, non-judgmental, and empowering attitude toward sexuality, which promotes pleasure, equality, and consent in all sexual expressions. The effects of stress on sexuality. Stress, anxiety, and other emotional factors can affect libido and sexual function. It is important to recognize and address these factors to maintain a healthy and satisfying sex life. The impact of culture on sexuality. 
cultural beliefs, and social norms can influence how people perceive and express their sexuality. It is important to question and challenge cultural expectations to develop authentic and satisfying sexuality. The importance of consent. Mutual consent is fundamental in any sexual activity. All parties involved must give their consent freely and consciously before engaging in any sexual activity. The importance of self-exploration. Knowing and exploring one's own body is essential for a healthy sexuality. Self-exploration can help people understand their preferences, limits, and sexual desires. The importance of sexual self-care. Sexual self-care includes practices such as masturbation, using protection during sexual intercourse, and regular checkups of sexual health. Prioritizing sexual self-care is essential for maintaining a healthy and safe sexuality. The influence of the media. The media, including film, television, and music, can influence attitudes and beliefs about sexuality by perpetuating gender stereotypes, idealizing certain body types, and promoting specific sexual behaviors. The power of eroticism in creativity. Eroticism is not limited to sexual activity. It can also fuel artistic and literary creativity. Many artists have found inspiration in sexual themes to create meaningful and expressive works. The relationship between sex and stress. Although stress can decrease sexual desire in some people, sex can be a powerful stress reducer. The release of endorphins during sex can help alleviate stress and anxiety. The sexual toy industry has experienced a boom in recent years, with a wide variety of products designed to enhance sexual pleasure and intimacy for couples. Time of day. Women's preferences for sexual positions may vary depending on the time of day, with some feeling more energized and adventurous in the morning, while others prefer the intimacy of nighttime encounters. Toys for seniors. There are sex toys specifically designed for older adults, taking into account the needs and physical limitations that may arise with age. Treatments. There are several treatment approaches for premature ejaculation, ranging from psychological therapies and ejaculation control techniques to medications and desensitizing topical creams. U-spot. In addition to the G-spot and P-spot, some people believe in the existence of the U-spot in women located on the front wall of the vagina and considered highly sensitive. People who have multiple sexual partners or engage in unprotected sex are at higher risk of contracting sexually transmitted diseases. The use of condoms is one of the most effective ways to reduce this risk. Vaginal dilators. Vaginal dilators are toys designed to help women increase vaginal elasticity and flexibility, especially useful after gynecological surgeries or during menopause. Variability in pleasure. Perception. The perception of anal pleasure varies considerably among women. Some may find it extremely pleasurable, while others may not enjoy it as much. Variation in penetration. Preferences may include positions that allow for varying depth and angle of penetration, such as reverse cowgirl or missionary with legs closed. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.